At the back end of last year, I found myself looking for a venue suitable for us to go out and film the two new range of rods we've got coming out this year. Now, these two rod ranges are going to be called Propel and Defy, and while we're all super excited about them, super proud of them and can't wait to show you them, we're going to hold back on the full spec of these rods until their official release in March. However, if you want to be amongst the first to actually get to grips with these rods, get your hands on them, feel them, look at them, check them out for yourself in person, then the place you want to be headed to is Manchester, 23rd and 24th of February. We're going to be there at the Northern Angling Show and we're going to have the Propel and Defy rods with us right there on the stand. You can come along, you can get them in your hands, you can check them out for yourselves. We're sure you're going to love them. So, back to the session. A few friends of mine had visited a place over the last year or so called Churn Pool in the Cotswolds. Now, it sounded like an absolutely awesome venue for doing this kind of filming. Not only did it produce a fish or two for them on every trip they went on, one thing which stood out to me as being perfect for filming in the winter is it had a lodge right next to the lake. The lodge would be ideal for keeping our batteries charged and all of our equipment dry and keeping us warm and motivated no matter what the weather would throw at us during the week. In my mind, with such a perfect venue found, all we'd have to do is turn up, go through the shot list and it would be job done. Never in my mind did I expect that Adam and Bonesy would have such a prolific session. From the off, it just started out too good to be true and it finished with a fairy tale ending. I'm not going to tell you too much more check it out for yourself Well, that's all three rods fishing, and uh, it's my first carp session of 2019. Uh, you join us down at the lovely Churnpool Fisheries in the Cotswolds, and although we're not here for a jolly up, we have got the rods out. Um, purpose for the trip is actually to film the new rods that we've got coming uh, this upcoming spring. It's myself fishing and Chris Bones Holmes, and we've got Gaz and Shoesy on the camera. We've even got the dogs here, Elvis and Wilson, and we are going to do our very best over the next couple of three nights to catch a fish. But as I said, we are here to film the rod, so this is really just a sideline and a bit of a bonus. Um, but yeah, we're going to do our best. Some really lovely carp in here. I mean, this area in particular holds some really, really good looking fish. So they're out in position. Um, a monumental journey to get here this morning. It actually took me seven hours. That M25 is the bane of my life. But I'm here. I've got three rods fishing. I'm going to wander up now and uh, check Bonesy's all right and then sit down and, and hopefully we can bring you a fish tonight. getting heavier. That mat's frosted up already, can you believe that? Oh. You ain't gonna believe That's this. It. Go on. 40 pounds, six or seven. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> what a colossal bar of ice. Well, this is absolutely unbelievable. We knew we had a chance of a bite because it's got winter form, but this has taken all of us by surprise. We didn't even know there was a 40 pound mirror in here. 40 pound six, Chris? 40 pound six, yeah. six and seven it was hovering between, so we take 40 pound six. And unbelievably, my last carp of 2018 was a 40 pounder out filming with Gaz. And my first fish of 2019 is a 40 pounder, so Gaz will definitely never ever not be with me when I go out fishing from now on. Just look at that. Whoa, oh, what a fish. The mat is icing up, the temperatures are dropping. Oh, and if she sits still for a second, just look at that. What a carp. An absolute block of ice. It's absolutely freezing now. Oh, just plunk you down. And that has made it worth coming. And it's still got three nights. It's still got a few nights. 
seven hours on the road. Oh my God, yeah, seven hour journey today, but you'll take that, it took a 50 hour journey. What a car, great big wrist, absolutely immaculate. I believe the owner of you said it had never been caught. It's so beautiful. What a fish. And it is absolutely freezing. It's like holding a block of ice. But we're in February and it just shows you a little bit of effort. Obviously we're here to film a product, but... January. Oh, it's January, sorry. Of course it is, yeah. I'm thinking of my holiday already, it's coming up. But no, it just goes to show you January, still get out there and these rewards are there and the carp are always big this time of year. If you get it right, get your approach right, you can catch some absolute belters like this. Or you can fluke them out like I just have. What a carp. Well, good morning. It is the morning after that epic night before that I think you've already seen. Um, that really did come out of the blue. As I said, the purpose for this trip is to film the propel and defy rods in action. So the fishing was a bonus. And none of us knew there was even a 40 pound mirror in here. So, you know, that's a rarity in itself. These day and ages, you normally know what's in the lake. So for something like that to come out, it was a real surprise for us all. A massive buzz. And uh, yeah, we were smiling about it all night. Um, but as you can see, it's a different day today. It's quite drizzly. Um, I've just been playing about with the rods, getting all the casting shots and uh, bits and pieces like that done for the Propel and the Defy rods. Um, so now I'm going to get back and put the rods out properly because Gaz and Shoes have got to shoot up and see Bonesy and film a bit of the Defy rods in action. So I'm going to get the rods out properly now and uh, yeah, that gives me majority of the day to try and nick another bite. So we'll see what happens. Well, as you can see, the propels have been brought back into action again. We said it looked good for a bite, and I've had to scramble for the mobile phone and drag the old camera boys back down because we've had an absolute banger. It's, uh, it's a real special carp as well, a real scaly one, so I'm not going to keep the boys too long. I've just, uh, just weighed it, just put it in the water, so we're going to get it out and get a few snaps so the boys can get back on with Bonesy because they're up there filming the Defy rods. And then, uh, yeah, it does look good for another one, so I'll get the rods back out. You never know, we might see you again. I said it was a looker, and I wasn't wrong, was I? That is just the most classic example of a Cotswold carp. Truly stunning, great big scales. That really is a magnificent fish, and I'm over the moon with that. The 40 pounder was amazing, and it's just been made even better now with this absolutely clonking Cotswold mirror. What a fish. I'm gonna slip that back. I won't keep the boys here too long. As I said, they've got plenty of filming to do with Bonesy and hopefully it'll be uh, his alarm that rattles off next time and he can hold up one of these beautiful carp. So you find me down the other end of the lake to Adam. Adam's had a great start to the session. He's had that 40 pounder, which was an absolutely mega fish and he's had that scaly one. Me, I've had two mega bream. Um, we are, it is quite known in the lake that the fish tend to be either end. We did say that if one starts catching a lot and one doesn't, then we'll, we'll fish together because that's what it's about. Um, but I'm down here and I've got the defy rods out. I'm using the three pound, 12 foot defy rod. And for this water, it is absolutely flawless. It's casting the bags out that I'm using. I'm using long stocking bags with a two and a half ounce inline lead. They're casting these rigs out flawlessly. We're about three and a half, four ounces and I'm having no problems getting to 75, 80 yards. With one of my spots, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spot out a little bit of bait. Now I've got the 12 foot Defy spot rod with me. And again, this rod is so well suited to something of this sort of range, 75, 80 yards. It's just flawless. It's dead accurate. It compresses really well. So I'm gonna get a few more maggots out and hopefully those bream are gonna turn into some scaly, scaly bangers. <laughs>
Well, the action continues this morning. How about that for a cracking common here at Chernpool? I've been using the new three pound propels and they've just been fantastic. I've been fishing solid bags at about 70 yards. They've had plenty of poke to get that out there, but I've had a lot of fun with the fish under the rod tip. So hopefully a few more to come because I'm really enjoying it here and I hope the bites don't stop. Well, it's, uh, we're just going into that last night. I've had quite a busy day with the filming side of things and I've managed to have a few more bream. It does seem like the fish are at the other end of the lake where Adam is. It's difficult when you get to this point. You know, I've been fishing for two nights. Adam's had a couple of fish each day and I've had a lot of bream. I've had eight big bream now. I'm not going to complain. It's nice for the, to get a bite at this time of year. It's not the right species, no. I'm a big fan of fishing and, well, if I was sat in my matchbox, I'd be absolutely buzzing catching bream like that. But unfortunately, I'm not. We're sat here trying to catch carp. It was well known that this lake, the carp tend to be either end. They're more dominantly down here, apparently, but it seems the wind when we arrived was pushing up that end. They've obviously moved with the wind and they're sat up there. Will they come back down? Who knows? Only a bit of time will tell. So I'm going to get a little bit more bait out now. I'm going to sit back, relax with the boys and maybe have a little bit of fish and chips. And hopefully I'll be back in front of the camera with a carp. I've finally waded through all those bream and been rewarded with this mint common from Churn. It's tough going sometimes in the winter. It just shows that perseverance really does work. This rattled off about 10 minutes ago from the baited spot that you saw me baiting up earlier. I persisted with that spot. For two nights I've been catching bream off it and finally I've been rewarded with a lovely, lovely January common. I'm absolutely stoked. So the rod's been dispatched back to the same spot topped up with a few more spots of bait, a little bit of crumb boiling and some maggot, and hopefully there'll be another one of these to come. So it's bang on 30 pounds. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. Happy days. Well done. Happy what a days. way to finish. Happy days. Chunky. Last night I've had that common off the baited spot and then about half an hour ago it's rattled off again and I've got this lovely bang on 30 pound mirror to show for my efforts wading through those bream. The defy rod, well I don't know what to say really. This this fish really put up a big fight last night and several times I thought it was ready for the net and luckily with that lovely tip action in it, it really absorbed the lunges where my clutch was tight ready to get it in there and eventually she gave up, in it went and whoa, I'm absolutely buzzing to have a fish like this in January. I mean it's been a hell of a session it had. I mean look at that. What a way to finish, 30 pound, and I was just sitting there, I was just chatting with shoes, and I said, that's high doubles, 20s, 30s, and a 40. We're in January. <laughs> oh, no, you'd be happy with that in spring, wouldn't you? I was you? thinking that, you would be happy with that in the spring, but it just goes to show you, get out there in the winter, because you can have sessions, you know, that you'd, like you say, you'd be happy with in the spring or summer. You know, we'll remember this for a long time, and it's bitterly cold. I think it's only about three or four degrees this morning. Yeah. Um, everything's frozen up last night. What um, a way to test the rods as well. You've been on the propels, I've been on the defies, and we put the... them through a bit of action in January, haven't we? Well, it's been great. It's been great. I've been using, the, like I said, I've been using the propels, been fishing that long range spot or longish range spot for this pool, 70 yards, and uh, yeah, they've been they've been an absolute joy to use. So yeah, look forward to uh, flexing so them our again. Next one, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well done, mate. Lovely Cheers, mate. Cheers. Yeah. A deep mark. Boom, baby.
Well, me and Adam were saying there was another bite in this swim and sure enough, that baited spot has done another fish and what a fish it has done. Just over 26 pound, a beautiful scaly mirror. Those defy rods are just so nice to play fish on. It really is a pleasure. That's it from us at Churnpool, thanks to Tom. And in the words of Adam Reid, you ain't gonna catch him sat at home to get yourselves out there. Oh.